Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ4 Re, and welcome back to Supermarket Simulator. And yeah, yeah, the sidewalk here is still a bit of a mess. You know what? I'm just going to come to the realization I'm going to use the sidewalk as part of my storage. Until he gets the storage room to be bigger, that's just the way it's got to be. I did run a day without you guys. I am at almost $45,000. And I'm at store level 100. I'm kind of curious. Here, let's start the day. I'm kind of curious uh, if I'm going to get to, if there is a 101. Uh, either one or two things is going to happen. It's going to get to store level 100, and then it's just going to stay there. And not I won't be able to get any more experience once that experience bar is full. Or it's going to roll over to store 101. Those are my two um, hypotheses on how that's going to work. Let's go ahead and get some chocolate and some white cake. Chocolate. And we'll get five of that. And we'll get five white cake. Beautiful. And then we're also going to need five honey. Five honey. We're pretty good. We're pretty well stocked in here. Uh, I'll give you a quick look around. There you go. So this is all looking pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good there. This is looking okay. We need some books. Okay, maybe not quite as stocked as I thought. Uh, books. Yeah, we need books. Right, let's put that down there. And let's give you, let's show you the rest of the place. Uh, it looks like we need some veggies as well. Uh, we need large uh, sushi, which I don't have. Uh, this stuff's all looking okay, though. Okay, fair enough. Let's get this stuff in. We do have uh, chocolates. Beautiful. So um, I did check out the Eclipse, uh, guys. Um, it was pretty cool. It was like 90% of the Eclipse. It was like 90% totality. Uh, I could have driven a few hours. Not a few hours. Like maybe two to four hours to get totality of 100%. But I was like, you know what? Whatever, I can just look at pictures. But um, I did go out and I did have some glasses and I checked out the eclipse. It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Um, it was funny because we thought the eclipse was going to happen at like 150 or whatever like that. So, something like that. And then Autumn's like, oh, it's it's like 130. And she's like, oh, it's here. And I was like, oh, okay. So we went outside. We looked at it around 130, 140. And then I was like, okay, yeah, that's pretty cool. And then like, you know, I went inside and I, I just started doing video stuff, right? And then I it started getting dark out. Like, really eerily dark. Like, not like pitch dark, but like more like um, Twilight Zone dark. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, yeah, it was it was pretty it was pretty creepy. And I was like, hmm. So I went on I went online. I Googled really quickly. It took two seconds. Uh, when's the totality? And the totality was going to be one minute from that point. And I was like, oh, my goodness. I, it's it wasn't even like anywhere near totality. So I grabbed my glasses, I, I yelled Autumn and come down, and we went out and looked at it. It was it was really cool. So we did see it at its total not it wasn't like totality as in like it was a complete, you know, eclipse. It was its totality of where I was gonna see it. It was 90%, but it was at its like most um eclipsey. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if the totality is the right word, but I think you get what I'm saying. And I did try and take videos of it. Now, some people got really good pictures of it. I tried to take videos. I tried I tried to take videos, they took pictures. I think I messed up. Because all my videos came out like crap. You couldn't even see it. But the people who took pictures got really good uh, footage of it. So um, what I did was with my phone, I, we had two pairs of glasses. So I wore the one set of glasses and I took the other set and I put it in front of the lens. And I did it perfectly. And it still did not come out right. So I don't know. Um, maybe I just got unlucky. Maybe I should have taken pictures. Maybe there's some kind of phone filter. Maybe there's an Eclipse phone filter. I don't think there is, but... Maybe, maybe my phone just didn't have a good enough uh, camera on it. I, I don't know, but it didn't come out right, uh, which was a bit of a bummer. But I saw a bunch of people on Facebook, like, showing their pictures, and it was pretty dope. Um, I'm just going to say right off the bat, though, like, look, after watching the Eclipse and everything, I got a little depressed. Um, you know, I was thinking about it. I was like, man, there's so much out there. The universe is so, so huge. I'll never leave this planet. And that was, like, kind of upsetting. <laughs> Not only will I never leave this planet, but I'm of the... I'm of the mindset that I don't think human beings will ever leave the solar system. Uh, just because of, like, I just watched, I watched some videos on it. If, you, if you're wondering why I would say that, um, things like time dilation could be a problem. We don't know how to travel the speed of light. You can't even travel the speed of light because it's impossible for anything with mass to travel the speed of light. And as you get closer to the speed of light, the object gets heavier and heavier and you need more and more power to push yourself. And, you know, um, also, like... Um, it just like people were talking about like generational ships and I don't think generational ships are going to work. Uh, could you imagine like having like a ship that had to work properly for multiple generations of human beings, hundreds of years, you know, anything you have to bring on, like if you ship these repairs, you have to have what you, you know, need to repair it. 
um, you, the, the space is not empty. As you're, you know, going through space, you're, there's micrometeoroids and stuff, and like just millions of reasons like, why I don't think it's ever gonna happen. And that kind of, um, that kind of depressed me. I was like, eh, this is, you know, Supermarket Simulator never depresses me. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Like I'm kind of a homebody. Like I don't like to leave my house, but if I could like go out and like to space, like go to a different galaxy or something, I'd probably do it. Full well knowing I'm gonna die, but um, yeah. Uh, but I, I won't leave my house. <laughs> the way I see it, guys, if you're not going, to, if you're not leaving the solar system, there is no reason to leave your house. All right, so there you go. That that's one to. I, I'm lucky though; I can work from home. Uh, I guess if you if you got to go to work, then that's a different story. But oh boy, I don't know, man. I don't know. It was um, it was pretty pretty depressing for me. I'm not gonna lie. 10, 15, 16, 18, 19, 50. There you go. Right? Oh, look at this. Look at this dog food, huh? So are we going to get to 101 today, guys, or what? I don't know. I don't know. You guys should let me know your uh, your eclipse stories. Anything interesting happen? The world didn't end, so that's good. Hey, Dapper Dan. Did you see the eclipse, Dapper Dan? You know he did. And he probably looked like a million bucks. Psycho Sid's like, yeah, I saw the eclipse. Big deal. No big deal. He's too cool. Psycho says it's too cool to be impressed by the, the moon moving in front of the sun. What's going on, lady? Uh, 65, 75. Have a good day. I got a pizza to... Tara, come on. What are you doing? What are you doing, Tara? I really don't want to ban you, but you're on notice. I got a pizza today for $8. It was supposed to be 16 They had like a 50% off Eclipse deal. I was like, oh, that's good. That's good. Got to see the eclipse. Uh, the pictures or the videos didn't come out that well, but um, I did get a half off on my pizza, so that's awesome. Fifty. How's it going, man? So yeah, that was awesome. I wonder where the next ecl eclipse is. Uh, I read somewhere it's like gonna be like 150 years or something. I mean, to come through America, come through my area. Um, I, I think I read somewhere it's like gonna be 100, 150 years, but then some guy in a parking lot at the store today told me it's gonna be like 20 years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a weird story, right? Uh, yeah, so we went to the store today to get food, to get uh, food, and when we were coming out, um, some guy was trying to pull in next to me, and I was like trying to put like groceries in the car. So I was like, I, I closed the door and I was like, I was waving him in because I don't want him sitting out there like you know getting in people's way and stuff, and I didn't want to be rushed. So I was like, I was waving him in. He was like pretty cool when he got out. He was like, Hey, you see the eclipse? And I was like, Yeah, man, it was really cool. We we talked there for a few minutes. And I, he told me that he told me that um, the next eclipse was gonna be like 20 years. So uh, I'm not really sure. Um, I guess I could Google it. I just forgot when I when I came home to Google it. But uh, yeah, I definitely gotta check that out. And I'm gonna be ready next time, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna find out like what I gotta do. Should I take pictures? I kind of want to ban him, but I didn't ban Tara, so I guess I can't ban him. Nobody's getting banned. All right, listen, listen. My store today. We're having an Eclipse special. You're allowed to buy one item without getting banned for today and today only. 92.25. Have a good day. So that is awesome. Yeah, yeah. The Eclipse is pr pretty dope. Pretty dope. Very depressing though. And like, like looking at looking at the Eclipse through the um through those glasses was a little bit uh, anticlimactic, because every time I saw an Eclipse, like people, I guess they use like special cameras or something. Because I've seen it, I've seen people like use cameras to catch eclipses. It looks really good. You can like see the sky. You can see the sun. Maybe because it wasn't a total eclipse that was the problem with my eclipse that I was at. But um, they looked really good. When I looked through those um, those glasses, it was pitch dark, and all you could see was the sun and the moon in front of the sun. And I know what you're thinking, Cage. What else do you want to see? Um, it just like having everything else pitch dark made it feel surreal, less real. It, it felt fake. You know, I know it wasn't. But it felt fake. I, I want to see the sky in kind of like its natural way. I don't know. Maybe you can't do that. Maybe you have to wear those glasses. I don't know. But um, yeah, putting on the glasses and just seeing the sun, it was almost like, I mean, it was almost like looking out on a computer screen. Honestly, there wasn't like, it's hard to explain. Is this making any sense to anybody? It just didn't feel real. Like, it just, it was a black screen with the sun and the thing. And it looked just like a computer screen. And, um, you know. I'm glad I saw it, but I was I was a little underwhelmed and depressed. 
So, but I guess there's much worse things you could be depressed about. So, you know, first world problems. Let's go ahead and do some stocking. Uh, we're going to have to order some potatoes soon. These guys do not like stocking potatoes, man. Like, I don't know what, what it is, but they just don't. And if you're wondering about the rustling talk, don't worry. We're going to talk about rustling uh, uh, the next day. Oh, it says store level max. Oh, cool. So honestly, store level 101 is max because it was 100. So we're kind of store, le store level 101. And that is max. Because otherwise it would have said max at level 100. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's see if there's anything we're missing that I could help with. Um, I already recorded like a, a half an episode. And I didn't like the way it came out. So I, um, I, you know, threw in the recycle bin. <laughs> uh, so if I, if I'm repeating myself, I apologize. Cause I don't remember when I said this. Um, but I like the fact that I have to help them stock. I really do. I think it's cool. I think we should have to help them stock. Um, I like the idea of cashiers, stockers bringing stuff in from the street and stockers, uh, stocking the actual shelves. Okay, um, and I want to I want to help with that. I don't want to like not have to do anything. So it's kind of like it's a little unbalanced right now because you don't really have to help with the with the cash register, uh, you know, with the cashiers. I do it because it's fun, and I mean you do kind of have to help when they're stocking things. So I guess that is good, but we don't have anyone bringing in product from the street, which is a real it's the biggest problem in this game for me personally. Uh, whoa, where's my toilet paper? Where are my toilet paper at? Okay, I'll bring all that in. So we can stock the green ones. Nah, they're all up front. You know, we, have, we have a lot of toilet paper up front, so. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and end the day and see how we did. Probably did pretty good. Oh, eight and three. Okay. Yeah, not too bad. All right. Hummus. We got that stupid hummus. Uh, let's go with $4 on that. I don't know why anyone would want hummus, but hey, to each your own. If you guys like hummus, God bless. You, you know, you do you, but I wouldn't touch hummus. And that's coming from someone who's never had it, so I know, you know I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, that was supposed to sound stupid. Uh, right. Uh, are we going to order, or do we want to do another day? You know, guys, I feel like I'm on a roll. Let's just do another day to hell with it. We're running out of some stuff. It is what it is. Let's talk about wrestling. Okay, so I watched WrestleMania days one and day two. Uh, day one was, was you know, pretty good. But day two was phenomenal. The, the I'm not going to, like, I'm not going to talk specifics here either. Uh, but day two is phenomenal. The, the main event on day two was one of the best main events I've seen in a long time. Although I haven't watched wrestling in like a bunch of years, but um, it was really good. It was really good. It got me. It, it, I think I'm back into it. I'm not really sure. I'm probably going to get back into it. Here's the thing, though. I'm going to have to pay about 40 bucks a month to get back into it, which kind of pisses me off. Uh, but, man, they got their hooks in me, dude. Like, I don't know if I'm 100% going to get the... I don't even know what the... I guess it's like YouTube... TV or something, or I could get some other thing. Like I forget the other there's, there's two websites you could do to watch raw, like in a timely manner. Hulu doesn't count. Cause Hulu, um, Hulu, uh, only puts out like a, a condensed version of raw. It's only like 90 minutes instead of the full hour. So in my opinion, that doesn't count. What's up Dapper Dan? Dapper Dan just walked through me. Oh my goodness. I'm not a ghost. Um, so yeah, uh, Hulu doesn't count because I don't want to watch 90 minutes. I want to watch a whole two hours. So it's going to, it's going to cost me. If I'm going to get back into it. But I think right now, like, I think I'm back into it. Like, you could, I could tell I'm back into something. Uh, let's go ahead and open our register. I can tell I'm back into something or I'm into something if I watch reaction channels. And the first thing I did when WrestleMania was over is I watched reaction channels. That, you know, that means I'm into it. Seriously. Like, it's, it's almost like I don't want it to end. I want to see people's reactions to it. It was awesome, and um, yeah, I guess I guess I'm back into it. I'm probably gonna sign up for whatever that uh, whatever website I need to when I'm done here. Damn freaking WWE! Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Actually, 
I've been at it for a long time. <laughs> so that's not really accurate, but uh, yeah. Where does the juice go? Uh, gee, oh, right here. I know there's someone waiting for me. We'll get to him in a minute. Yeah. Still got some left. All right. Fair enough. They fit a lot of juice in those boxes, man. For real. Um, oh, man, that WrestleMania. Like, so good. So good. Uh, 150. Yeah, I have it going. I was like... It's hard to talk about because I don't want to, like, spoil anything. I'm not going to. All I'm going to say was it was awesome. Have it going, man. So now I got to watch Raw. There's another one, right? There's, like, SmackDown. Isn't SmackDown on, like, uh, on Fridays or something? I think SmackDown's on Fridays. And, uh, yeah. Uh, what about A... Not AEW? No, AEW doesn't have anything to do. That's a different... That's a different wrestling company. What, what's the other one? Um, NXT? What, what is that? Is that like... I thought... Isn't that like... Someone told me NXT. I think they said something like it's like upcoming talent. It's like... I'm not really sure. Um, so I'm not really sure what NXT is, to be honest. I mean, they could have made this less confusing. One thing that... One thing that kept me out of wrestling for a long time was when they, when they divided up uh, the uh, Raw and SmackDown brand. I hated that. Absolutely hated it. I, I didn't like the fact that they were all separated. I don't know if they're separated anymore. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. And I also don't know what the belts are. There's like a bunch of belts. There's like multiple heavyweight champion belts. Is that because one's, one's for Raw and one's for SmackDown? Or there's like the heavyweight championship and then there's like the... Um, oh, what the heck was the other one called? I don't even remember. Like, uh, I don't remember. There was a special term for it, though. Let's continue bringing stuff in. I guess I'm not going to talk about as much about wrestling as I thought I was going to, because I don't want to spoil it, so we will leave that be. Come on. Yeah. Cool, cool. Look at me helping. I'm a helper. I'm a helping boss. So we are saving up for $85,000. And I'm hoping to get it next episode. We'll see. We're at 60000 now, but we're starting to get bare. I'm going to have to buy some stuff. But um, maybe we're not that bare. There's some key things missing. Uh, one, two, three, four. How's it going? What's up, buddy? This guy's getting a lot of stuff. I love it. I love it. 150. How's it going? Uh, 28. Have a good day. Oh, I'm trying to think of the name of the videos I, I watched that said we'll never leave our own solar system. I mean, obviously, if there's some kind of crazy discovery, we figure out a way to go faster than the speed of light or, or go at the speed of light. But as of right now, there's nothing in science to indicate that we can go the speed of light. But who knows? I'm just saying it doesn't look like we ever will. Plus, like, you, you know, we're going to go extinct it's a lot sooner than people think, you know? Like, they think we're just going to be around forever. Uh, and I'm not even talking about, like, um, I'm not even talking about normal things like nuclear war. Uh, although that's one thing that could be the case. Um, but also things like, uh, you know, the, the sun's getting brighter. And that's just like, I'm not even talking about global warming. I'm talking about just natural, the sun. Uh, they said the sun would be like 10% brighter in a certain amount of years. I, it's, I don't, that might be like a million years, though. So I think an asteroid is or nuclear war is probably the thing that's going to wipe us out. Um... Probably, if I had to guess, this is a, this is a freaking depressing topic. Let's let's not, let's not, let's let's just not. Freaking <laughs> awful topic. We're gonna no, we're never gonna go extinct. We're gonna live forever, and that's good. One trillion years, of humans will still be here, and that's that. So when Autumn and I um went out, uh, Autumn's um, Autumn's my wife. In case you didn't know, Autumn's uh, well, I guess our sister-in-law. Uh, brought us over the glasses that we needed for the, um, uh, 160, oh, 165, sorry. 165, there you go. Uh, brought us over the glasses we needed for the Eclipse, and when they were here, there was this orange cat that was so sweet. It must be, like, it, it, it was just outside, and it just came up to start rubbing our legs and being super sweet, and that's, like, you know, that can't be, like, an outside cat. I mean, outside, damn it, I didn't give a right change. Oh, my goodness, I... I shorted Psycho Sid 25 cents. 
Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to freaking sleep with one eye open tonight. Um, yeah, it was it was really sweet. It was an orange cat, but it was I think it was like a neighbor's cat or something, because it did have a tag. Although I didn't see any name on it, but it did have a tag, and uh, it was well fed, and it was really sweet. I mean, if it wasn't well fed, or if I thought it didn't have, like, we would have just took it. <laughs> I'm not gonna let some cat starve outside on my watch. Not gonna happen. I actually went and got um little kitty treats for it too, and gave her the kitty treats, and she was really sweet. There's a lot of cats around here, but they're but they're like good cats. They're not like strays. Like I think they all have people. I think people just here just let their cats run around, because like I see them all the time. Um, there's always a cat that comes outside my window, uh, and Sammy, my uh, male cat, my one year old male cat, is always in my window, and like he's like always like, hey, hey, these are my humans. You get out of here. So, and uh, I was telling Autumn that like I imagine the cat that like lives outside is like really tough. Like I'm thinking. Who would win in a fight? My cat or that cat outside? And then I'm thinking, the cat outside is probably pretty tough. He's got to fight and scratch and tooth and nail and just, you know, do what he's got to do to survive. And I imagine my cat is like that rich, spoiled, like, kid, you know? Like, um, you guys ever see a Cobra Kai? I uh, remember Anthony Jr. in Cobra Kai. Or is, it, is it named Anthony? I think his name is Anthony. Um, but yeah, Anthony and Cobra Kai, like that, that would be my cat. Or like, you ever see The Sopranos? Remember Anthony Jr. and the Sopranos? Yeah, that's my cat. So, like, they think they're tough, but they're really not. And he would just get his teeth kicked in if it ever came to it. Because he's a, he's a spoiled cat. Because I um, I keep him inside. I take I take good care of him. How's it going? What's going on, man? All right. Looking good. And you will 625. Have a good day. How you doing? Alright, oh man, it's spending some money. That's what I'm talking about. 224, 25. Have a good day. Alright, what's up with you, bud? How you doing? Yeah? Alright, good to hear. You like that prosciutto? Uh, 75, have a good day. Alright, can we bring some stuff in now? Yep, we gotta continue bringing in this coffee. All the paper goes unbelievably fast. Like, it's insane. Absolutely insane. Like, there must be something in the drinking water in this town, because people be pooping. People be pooping. You know what I mean? Like, just crazy. Crazy. Uh, oh, I don't need room for that. Okay. i to throw that right there. Probably bring this in. Yeah, that's looking good. Um, Beer? Yeah, we could probably bring some beer in. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Man, I'm so looking forward to the next update. Please, please give us a way to bring stuff in on the street and bigger storage. Please, 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 please. Pretty please with sugar on top. Uh, go. One of the orange. Cool, cool. Um, freaking muscle milk, dude. I ordered a lot of muscle milk. It's like all gone. All right, so this sushi has been out has been out baking in the sun for like a week now. So I kind of want to bring it in, but I, there's no room for it. I guess we're just gonna like cook for a little longer. Wow, toilet paper's all gone, dude. Wow, holy moly. Mm, yeah, let's go ahead and stock this. We need some vodka too. I'm pretty sure I'm out of it. I'm gonna have to do a lot of ordering between this and next video. Just an absolute metric butt ton of ordering. How much is a butt ton? I don't know. It's a lot. More than you can comprehend. You would need a butt ton of fuel to reach the speed of light to get to the uh, M, M drop M drop. No, not M drop. Um, Alpha Centauri. Yeah, that's right. I keep wanting to say uh, Andromeda Galaxy, but like no, I'm not talking about Galaxy. Just the closest star, which I think is Alpha Centauri. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we can't do anything with that. You can stay out here. What's this? Oh, okay. Definitely do something with this. Let's see if we can stock this. Alright, looking good. Looking good. Store level max. That is so cool. And it's funny, we're still getting experience. Wow, I'm at 70,000? Oof. You know, if I, if I wanted to, I could just let stuff sell out. And just get that, get that uh, growth thing tomorrow. Yeah, especially if I don't pay my bills. 
70,000 eat. No, it would take two more days. I don't know. Should I just say to hell with everything and go for section 17 or should I restock the store? I think I'm going to restock the store. I don't want to, I don't want to get to the point where the store is, uh, empty. That shit bothers me. So we will probably, we'll probably get the expansion next episode, but if not, definitely the episode after that. All right, let's see how we did today. Yep. That's kind of what I expected. Uh, cleaner, tea cleaner and, um, beer. Tea cleaner and beer. We don't have any tea cleaner. Oh my goodness. All right, I gotta... I gotta grab that because if I don't, I'll forget that it needs to be... It needs to have this, uh, thing changed. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna buy 10 since they're so cheap. And let's see what kind of beer we need. Beer... Oh, okay. The yellow box beer. Uh... Yes, there we go. And you will go to 350? Yeah, let's go to 350. And then the yellow box beer. Um, oh, right here. Eight oh, man, this went up a long time. I, I actually went up today. Uh, 875? Let's go at 875. Sure. Why not? All right, let's stock this one. Looking good. I'm going to try really hard uh, to be able to get the uh, next expansion next episode, but I've got a lot of ordering to do. Like, right off the bat, right off the bat, the ordering needs to go. 10 bleach. No, I don't have a room, enough room for 10 bleach, but I don't care. Another 10 bleach. And then we go to paper and we do 10, 10, 10, and 10. Oh boy, I don't even want to go out there. I don't even want to see this monstrosity. I guess I might as well pay my bills since, you know, I guess we're going to have to pay them sooner, sooner or later. Okay. Okay, looking good. All right, guys, I'm going to continue stocking, getting this place all set up for next episode. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to try my best uh, to be able to get the expansion next episode. Two more expansions, and we can um, really expand the store because two more expansions, the store will be a square. I don't think I'm going to change too much of the layout. Let me get, actually, let me take a look. Would I change any of the layout here? The, the next two expansions will be right here and here. One thing I could do to change the layout is I could make all the all the refrigerator stuff all in one corner. That might not be a bad idea. Um, right now, I have all the refrigerator stuff just on this back wall here. Actually, it's kind of all in the same corner. But um, I'm thinking, like, make, like, the refrigerator stuff come up here, go over here, and then come down here. And imagine it like a big giant U. And then the freezer's in the middle. That's something I could do if I really wanted to. Um, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to think about how I want to do that. That's still a couple, ex that's still two expansions apart away though. So it's not really something I have to worry about right now. Just something I'm thinking about. Um, I don't like having the same, I don't like the idea of having the same exact store for the rest of the game. Uh, you know, and right now, theoretically, every single upgrade this entire store could get, I could just push these out farther and keep the same exact layout. And I'm going to be honest, I don't love that idea. Another thing I don't love is the fact that there's no real good end to these shelving units. There's no good topper to the shelving units. Like the shelving units go over here and then right here, this is a topper. It's like an end point. It like, it hides the, you know, the edges of the shelves, which I really like. And the only good, the only good ones for that is these, these are refrigerators. And I really, really want a shelving unit that's cut in half. That's half. So like, see this black line right here? Imagine cutting this in half and then allowing us to order one of these. And then we can put those at the end instead of the refrigerator things. Because right now the refrigerator thing is the only thing that I really like at the end of the, um, you know, the shelving uh, lanes. So, you know, we'll have to see how it goes. But anyway, guys, uh, let me know in the comments how you feel about the Eclipse and stuff. And uh, do you ever, do you, let me know, do you guys think we're ever going to go to a different uh, 
not we, we'll be dead well before that ever becomes a reality. Do you think human beings will ever leave the, um, I keep wanting to say the galaxy, not the galaxy. Do you think that, do you think humans will ever leave the solar system? I hate it when that happens. Let me know in the comments. Also, let me know, uh, you know, what do you think about WrestleMania? Please be respectful though, no spoilers. And, um, you know, um, I'm going to go watch Raw when I'm done here. All right, guys, <laughs> if you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.